When you receive your Teslong NTG 150W bore scope, it will come in one of three variations, either a long flexible model, a long rigid model, or a short pistol model. The boxes look different, but they work the same and include the same accessories. After opening the box, you'll see the camera probe, the probe cable, the wireless transmitter, and a few accessories. The cable is the aviation to USB-A cable to connect the probe to the Wi-Fi transmitter. The USB-A to micro cable is for charging the Wi-Fi transmitter. The package should also include three small mirrors. We'll start off by going over the Wi-Fi transmitter. Most of the controls can be found on the left-hand side. The top button on the left side is the camera shutter. The middle button is the light control. And if you perform a long press on that button, your view will zoom in or out. The bottom button turns the power on or off with a long press. There's also a micro USB port to recharge the battery below that. On top of the transmitter, you'll see the USB-A port to plug in your bore scope. The NTG150W is compatible with iPhone, iOS, or Android devices. Now, we'll install the bore scope to work with Wi-Fi. First, we thread the aviation plug onto the probe. Now, we'll plug the probe into the Wi-Fi transmitter. The device should start with a long press of the power button, followed by the battery charge indicator, and about five seconds later, the Wi-Fi signal indicator will show in the front. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device before using it. The ring light on the tip of the camera probe should also turn on. Check your light button to make sure you can toggle through three light levels as well as turn the light off to adjust your illumination. Next, we have to install an app on our mobile device to connect it to the bore scope. Go to the Apple or Google App Store and search for the app called Smart Endoscope and install it. Alternatively, you can scan the QR code on the Smart Endoscope app instruction card included with the bore scope. Open your mobile device and go to the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the Wi-Fi signal called Wi-Fi cam underscore followed by several characters. Open the app. Now click on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. Click on the device called Endoscope with Wi-Fi adapter and allow it to access your photos and record audio. Follow the on-screen prompts and once connected, you'll see a live view from the camera on the screen. Now you can use the app to take photos, video, or view your content in a gallery. Now, we're going to move to the tip of the borescope probe and point out a few things. These probes are just under 20 caliber in size to fit easily in a 22 caliber barrel, so they're small. The probe is ready to use for looking forwards in the barrel. If we want to look sideways at the lands and grooves or a gas port, we need to install a mirror. Pay close attention to the small lock ring on the threads. This is to lock your mirror in place. We'll take one of the mirrors and thread it onto the probe. This probe has a fixed focal distance of about 10 millimeters, but the threaded mirror is used to adjust the focus looking sideways. If you're in a small barrel, like a 22, you'll position the mirror farther away from the lens. If you're inspecting a larger caliber barrel, then you'll have to move the mirror closer to the lens to achieve sharp focus. It may take a couple tries to get the focus sharp, but the quality of the image is worth the effort. Use the lock ring to lock your mirror in place when you get a sharp picture. Now we'll insert the probe into a barrel and capture some photos and video. You can press the shutter button on the Wi-Fi transmitter or on the app to capture photos, whichever is most convenient. To capture video, you have to press the record button in the app while in video mode. You can see the time code start when you're recording video. Now that we have some photos and video captured, you can view these files on your mobile device in the Smart Endoscope app by clicking on the play button in the lower left of the screen. Finally, to get the best image quality from your borescope, clean the camera lens and mirrors before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents.
That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong NTG 150W bore scope. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us on the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.